Dave Donnie. We've been here at Atlanta Motor Speedway for a week now, right? Since Monday? Yep. Since Monday. Tell Monday. me a little bit about how the whole show has gone. It's been great. Um, you know, first year for having the big trucks in it, so you never know what to expect. But um, I'd say it was pre-planned very well like it was well organized it ran smooth like it's it's been great um, typically you don't have a lot of judge shows anymore you know they're more of a competitor's choice type of situation so this is a full-on um, judge show so that amps it up I guess you'd say for you know the nine competitors that were in that division um, but it went super well, you know, no animosity. Everybody's had a great week. Um, you know, we've all hung out and, you know, had a great time. So, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with how the whole thing went. And I think it was done very well. Yeah, so you've been in the truck show world for a while. Like you were talking a little bit about the judging. So how mm -hmm. is this different than a normal judge show? Um, well, this is the first show I was at where they had five judges, you know, so they had a bigger panel, which I feel like brings in more input because, you know, you get more experience from the judges and so they can lean on each other to kind of help each other and I feel like that fills in any gaps that there might have been in ability to to judge these trucks you know you you had guys in the paint and body industry guys in the aftermarket manufacturing custom parts um, you know truck drivers uh, you know so you had a whole array of of judges in that group and so it was different opinions to where they could all kind of share and and feed off each other so I, I really feel like that that's going to be a big hit. One thing I noticed being here myself this week is there's a lot of friendly but real smack talk. Oh absolutely. And you seem to be the one that leads it all. No I wouldn't say that I mean everybody else will say that but I wouldn't say that. Uh, you know I, I, I guess I everybody says that and they're probably not wrong. It, it just, it's my fault, I guess, you know, like I, I don't know, like it's like a brotherhood, you know, you treat everyone as a, as a family member, you know, and at the end of the day, everyone knows we're all, you know, bantering for fun and, and, but yeah, I mean, you know, you're going to walk over and be like, well, I mean, are you at least going to wash that thing? You know, and it's all pressed out and it's, and, and they're like, yeah, I'll get right on it, you know, and it's just fun, and, you know, I, I enjoy it when they do it back to me, and, um, you know, it's, it's like I said, I feel like it's a, a brotherhood of, of the people and, and like a show family, if you will, to where, yeah, you, you banter and poke fun and, you know, you laugh with each other, and it's, I think that makes part of it, you know, the relationships. And talking about last night, everybody mm. hanging out, the oh. is above it, average, I feel like, for <laughs> You know, a lot of the shows that you go to, you know, like everyone is hangs out and, and spends their time there. But it, it more, and I don't want to say in their private groups, but it just works out that way. You know, is you, you end up getting, you know, five, six trucks parked and, and the people hang out in areas where for whatever reason down here in Atlanta, everyone's just done it as a group. You know, like we we've had big groups just everywhere and everyone just kind of pulled into it and so that was very unique and it was so much fun you know guys that you know you know but maybe not that well you know next thing you know you're sitting there just chatting for you know 15 20 minutes and you know i mean obviously they're all here for the same thing so you have common interests you know conversations are super easy but um it, it just it was a little different vibe that way you know you just had you know like huge groups i mean even last night when everybody ended up at daryl lowry's motor coach and you know he was totally happy to have us there you know and and everyone from bennett has open arms you know welcomed and and super excited that we're here and you know we're equally as excited to be here you know so it's it's been a great match if I was a judge right now, mm -hmm. give me a short little tour of your truck. Give me the highlights. Well, it's blue. Um, the best thing about it is it's a Peterbilt. So, you know, like that's already going to elevate the situation because it's a Peterbilt. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, Caterpillar engine. You can't go wrong with that. So, um, I don't know. It's uh, We smoothed it out, made everything as pretty as we could bright colors, you know, and, and then try to just accent it with chrome and details and things like that. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, everybody's seen it. I don't know what to say. Like, this is it. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just, I'm immune to it. <laughs> no, I get it. All right, well, is there anybody in particular you want to thank for the week? 
Uh, well, I'd like to thank my wife. Um, you know, she's always got my back, no matter what. Um, my nephew, Garrett, Cam, he's been a huge help at, you know, at the shop and here. Um, Jacob Gunderson came along for helping us clean and to experience the, the whole, you know, show judging event um, and then as well as he does a lot of great photography and, and camera work so those people here have been amazing you know I'd like to thank Evan um, and his whole team for organizing and running the chaos and keeping it from being chaotic like they've done a fantastic job you you can't go wrong when you know he's got so much experience with so many shows that he really put it together well and and this is just a testament you know like on a higher level of you know bringing back a big judge show the pressure just adds up and normally you end up with a lot of drama and so far we haven't any that I know of like it's been it's been slick so um, obviously the Bennett company they have once again open arms you know we stayed at their terminal for a day um, you know they've brought us food constantly checking in to make sure that you know nobody needs anything um, you know they didn't skimp on their budget you know plenty of restrooms plenty of you know places to go and get some food and drinks whatever um, you know they brought in a couple different bands so plenty of entertainment you know so they've pulled out all the stops so hopefully this goes great for them um, I like to thank all my employees back at working because I'm not working so they're carrying the load and they've done a great job so you know I couldn't do this without the people that I have working for me because they you know tug the line and, and if I'm not there they don't you know sit there bothering me constantly you know like you know what do I do here what do I need to do there you know they just put their heads down and they go to work so I definitely like to thank my crew for sure. Uh, one more question for you mm. will you be back next year? I will be back in some capacity I don't know what that will be um, more than likely not with this but I will be back one way or another. Perfect thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. You guys got 10 minutes yet. Okay. Doing good on time. I would also like to ask this year's first place best of show national championship winner to either defend their title next year with an invitation ahead of time or be our guest judge for the working class division of the national championship show that we will get to do next year. That's right, I said next year, November 7th and 8th, right here at the same location. I want everybody to leave the same way they came. Nervous, anxious, and smiling yet. And first place goes to Don Wood, DSD Transport, 2003 Peterville 379, high maintenance, AKA Paris. There wasn't a single person in this front row that I didn't think belonged in this front row. I want to thank you guys one last time. I can't thank you guys enough. All right, to hold, hold that trophy up, guys. One, two, three, in the back by the guy in the red. You guys are getting, you guys are getting cash, so hang Thanks, on. Buddy. I don't want to take time, but I, like, I would like to say that uh, I've been to a lot of shows. And I've won a lot of big shows, and this one means a lot. Like, it's top two. I mean, I'm so excited for the idea that you guys have, bringing this back, and, and the energy that you guys have. You guys are going to go places. Like, this lot is not going to sustain for three years. I guarantee you. It will not. This show is yeah. unreal. We will have to move the golf ball. You're, you're, you're going to need more yeah. parking, so plan... Plan for that. Yeah. So, I, I have to. <laughs> you gonna defend your title? Absolutely. We're I'll back. let you know. Yes. <laughs> yes. No, we'll keep bringing trucks. This is awesome. Awesome. Yeah, Good. Good. Well, I'll get out thank, of you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No. Thank you. Tell you what an amazing experience this has been. Thank all my competitors because you guys are all a class act. Every one of you deserve to win, and unfortunately, that's just not how it goes. Um, but I can't take this, so I'm going to donate it back to you guys. Yeah! Hey, Johnny! Wow, is that a class act right there?
Start giving the money back to Reese Across America. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, uh, You're a good dude, Donnie. I don't care what everybody else said about you. <laughs>